Okay, so we are on the 2.2 .2, um, examples um, in trig now. This is on the graphing. Uh, it's graphing of equations with two variables. So I'm going to start off nice and simple and just graph this. And most of you already know how to graph these. This right here is the y-intercept. So that means I'm going to plot a point up 1. This is the slope, and that's like saying negative 1 over 1. So you're going down one, right one, down one, right one, down one, right one, so down one, right one, down one, right one, down one, right one. You can also do the reverse and go up one, left one if you wanted to and still get the straight line. The next graph is this graph here. Most of the times we just like to set up a table um, of x's and y's. So if we plugged in a negative 3, um, negative 3 squared is 9, 9 divided by 3 is 3. If I plugged in a negative 2, that would give me negative 2 squared is 4. 4 divided by 3 is 1.33333. Plugged in a negative 1, a negative 1 squared is 1. 1 times a third is um, a third. So let me move this up here. Okay. And then... Plug in a zero, you get zero, right? Because everything, zero times anything is just that anything. Um, and then plug in a one. One squared is one. One times a third is uh, 0.333. Two, um, sorry, that should be uh, just 0.33333. And that um, two squared is four. That should be 1.333. So... So we have um, the first point is negative 3, 3. That's right there. Negative 2, 1 point 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. Um, negative 0, 0. Or sorry, that's negative 1 and a third. Then 0, 0. Then 1 and point uh, 3, 3, 3 or a third. And 1 point 3, 3, 3, 3 right there. And then that one right there. So it's basically a parabola, but the third out in front makes it wider. All right, so graphing this right here is what we're on right now. First of all, you need to take that four out. Okay, we can't have numbers um, out in front of x squareds and y squareds when we're talking about circles. It needs to be just x squareds and just y squareds. So we need to get rid of that 4 by dividing it on both sides, and this is our actual equation. So here's what this actually means. What it actually means is, if you remember from before, um, everything is in a parentheses, right? An x minus h and a y minus h. Well, this is like saying x minus 0 squared, which means the center is 0. And this is like saying y minus 0 squared, which the center is 0. So the center is like saying 0, 0. So my center is 0, 0, which means the point is going to be right there at the center. And this, the radius, you square root it. So when you square root 25 over 4, you actually end up getting 5 over 2, which is 2.5. So I go out 2.5 and, and put a point. I go up 2.5, put a point. I go over 2.5, put a point. I go down 2.5, put a point. And I connect them. And there is my circle. <coughs> So this one, um, the center, if you remember, is opposites, right? So if this is a positive 3, it's a negative 3. Since this is just a y squared, it's 0. So that's the center. And the radius is 4 because you take this number and you just square root it. And the square root of 16 is 4. So 1, 2, 3, 0, there's the center. And from the center, I go over 1, 2, 3, 4 and put a point. I go up 1, 2, 3, 4 and put a point. I go over 1, 2, 3, 4, and put a point, and I go down 1, 2, 3, 4, and put a point, connect them with a circle. And there's your graph. Graphing this one, the center is the opposite, so positive 3, negative 3, negative 2, positive 2. And then the radius is the square root, so the square root of 9 is 3. So I go over 1, 2, 3, and up 1, 2, right there. The radius is 3, so over 3. Up 3, over 3, down 3, connect it with a circle, and there you go. 
to graph this, this is the positive 4 minus um, x squared. So here's what I'm going to do. I actually square both sides, which is what I'm doing here to get rid of this root. Which These are gone, giving me a 4 minus x squared and a y squared. I'm going to move this over to that side by adding. So I end up getting x squared plus y squared equals 4. Okay. That means the center, because there is no parentheses, is 0, 0. And square root of that is 2, so the radius is 2. So center 0, 0, over 2, up 2, over 2, down 2, and that would just be the top. Um, and the reason why the top was the only thing there is because it was just a positive square root of that. So that's why the whole circle was not graphed in that problem. So to find the center and radius of this circle, okay, we need to rearrange everything in order is what we're going to need to do, as in all x's together, all y's together. So that's what I did here. I moved this over. That's why it's x squared plus 8x. Um, and I moved this over, which is why it's y squared minus 10y equals uh, 37. Now I'm going to move this number over, because remember, with completing the squares, you got to move the numbers over. So there, I moved the number over. That's a negative 37. I want to complete the squares with the x's, and I want to complete the squares with the y's. That's what I'm going to do. So that's why I have this empty spot here and here. So it's b over 2 squared is the formula for completing the squares. So I'm going to do 8 divided by 2 squared, uh, which is 4 squared, which is 16. So I add 16 there and over here. Then I complete the squares over here. That's negative 10 divided by 2, which is negative 5 squared. Negative 5 squared is 25, so that's 25 and positive 25. So I need to factor this group. Well, the factor happens to be whatever's inside the parentheses, which is a 4. So this is an x plus 4 squared. This one, you factor it. What's in the parentheses happens to be a negative 5. That's why it's x minus 5 squared. And you just add all those together to get 4. So to find the center and the radius, it's the opposites. So the opposite of positive 4 is negative 4. The opposite of negative 5 is positive 5. The square root of 4 is 2, so the radius happens to be 2 for this problem. And when I come back here, I will finish up. Um, I don't want to uh, stretch it and rush through the problems here. So when I come back, we'll try to finish up um, with this problem here in 2.2.